we are going to learn about low altimeter and how to implement it in our application. Hello my friends and welcome again. In this video we will implement the low altimeter and we'll learn about the principle of low altimeter and how to separate the service from the main UI. In the previous videos we have learned about the steps of making and decoupling the UI code from uh, the main activity and decoupling the networking logic from the main activity and also we have learned how to make the uh, retrofit as a global because it's having one single it should have one single instance and sharing it among the clients in this video we will learn about the law of Demeter so what it is this law actually it is not law it is a principle so it uh, acts and depends on reducing the amount of dependency to the minimum. We will reduce and search for a, a many dependencies and reduce dependencies to minimum. So making this code more and more readable and more and more clean to make the injections, dependency injections. So where are the dependencies? Where are the many dependencies that we are going to reduce to minimum. If we scroll, if we open our applications and we see, we will go to the use case. We use the use, use case in the networking questions list. The use case is networking and the common and it is questions questions list use case okay this is the fetch here in the fetch questions use case we are using a retrofit so we are injecting the constructor of the fetch questions list use case with a retrofit instance and we are we actually we are making the stack overflow api and making an and passing the instance of retrofit and use it to create this stack overflow low of demeter actually making this and, and this violate the law of demeter because law of demeter tells us that we need to reduce the dependency to the minimum the fetch questions list use case is make dependent on stack overflow but stack overflow is depending on an instance of retrofit so what is the solution the solution is making this retrofit stack overflow in the main in my application class so underneath this i need to create an instance from the private uh, the, from the stack overflow so private put it here oops private i have market private stack overflow api stack overflow api we are making an instance from this and make it as global to be used inside the use cases so ui thread public stack overflow api get stack overflow and it's making an a method that returns a stack overflow and if stack overflow api equal equal to null stack overflow equal to get retrofit dot create and stack overflow flow error uh, api dot class and we are returning this class so stack overflow api turning this object we are creating it we are checking if stack overflow equal equal to null go and create a one instance from the stack overflow api depending on the get retrofit method so this get retrofit uh, this stack overflow api method 
get stack uh, overflow API method depends on this get retrofit method. And in this way, we have making uh, the, uh, the dependency on uh, retrofit to minimum. We go to the fetch questions details use case. I start cleaning the code, fetch questions details use case, and I will go to the fetch quest that does to the constructor. And we in the previous video we have created this dependency. I will change it to stack overflow overflow API and I will make an instance from it. Again, guys, what I'm doing, I'm making the dependency to the minimum according to law of Demeter. So stack overflow API, and I will remove this because my class, my application class will go and create an instance of stack overflow depending on the retrofit and make an, uh, according to one single instance of retrofit. So I remove it, stack overflow. In this way, I have uh, minimalized the dependency of this class to the minimum. I will go again, I will remove this. And again, I need to make the same way in the fetch, in the fetch questions list use case. Fetch questions list use case. I will change it to stack overflow API, stack overflow API same way removing it and passing the injected uh, object okay so in this way we have injecting the constructor and we are making everything fine i will remove this and the call i need to make the amendment to it I don't need to you uh, to uh, uh, to make this uh, error uh, to, in order to prevent it I need to make m stack overflow so I'm changing the the name of it or you can put like this so if you want to put like this and uh, I prefer making uh, m uh, stack okay so will this will solve the errors okay so I also need to, to change this m stack overflow api and changing the error okay the same way i'm making this stack overflow m stack and i will make it as m stack overflow okay maybe i have uh, removed it I will copy it from here. Copy and pasting it here. Okay. Changing it. Okay. So all the errors will be fine. Now, uh, let's go to the questions details activity. So questions detail. We have configured the use case, the networking dependency, and let's, now let's go and solve the errors inside the questions list activity and the questions uh, details activity. If we open them, we have the displayed the errors here. So the questions list activity, the questions details activity, and the list activity have the same error. Where is it is in the networking section. So retrofit, I will remove this and I will remove also this. Sorry, I will make it like this. Stack, stack overflow API. API equals stack overflow API and I will cast it to 
my application because I'm making use of the uh, the method that we have create get application and get stack overflow API. Okay. In the same way we have made in the previous video. So fetch questions use case equal new fetch questions use case and in, despite using the retrofit dependency and now the questions qu uh, details use case is dependent on the stack overflow API. It's very important to understand this concept. This is the law of Demeter. It's reducing the dependency to the minimalized. In the same way, I will go to the questions list activity and do the same. Here in the networking, I will remove. You can remove it. Stack. An instance of stack overflow. API stack overflow equal to my application get application I'm making use get application dot get stack overflow API we are using the method that we have created inside the question, inside the application class. And I need to pass Stack Overflow API instance. Let's run our application and see the magic. And here we go. Our application is following the minimalized, uh, minimalized and reducing amount of dependency to minimum. So minimum dependency on objects. So this is the law of Demeter. In this video, we have uh, learned about the le uh, law of Demeter and the principle of Demeter that actually it's very useful for dependency injection and cleaning the code. So guys, we have uh, used the law of Demeter for, for decoupling the services of the, uh, from the UI the main UI. We are decoupling the services from the uh, logic, the main logic, the main activity. And we are uh, done with the uh, networking decoupling and the UI decoupling and the services decoupling. Now let's move to more and more advanced topics and cleaning uh, progress.